The shipping industry is notorious for being one of the most difficult to decarbonize. It's one of the final sectors that hasn't yet figured out how to reduce its CO2 emissions. There's a lot of activity focused on creating new types of fuel, and there's also a variety of efficiency solutions to reduce fuel consumption. But we've got this big gap in between where we have 100,000 ships globally on the water that need to reduce their CO2 that aren't really compatible with, with either of those two options. So we capture CO2 on board ships by chemically reacting the CO2 with pebbles of quicklime and the two of them together become pebbles of limestone. And then when we return to port, we offload the limestone and either we can sell it to be used as a building material or we can separate the limestone back into pure CO2 and quicklime and then we could sell the CO2 and that could be turned into new products like fuels or it could be sequestered underground. Our first stage of development at Seabound was to build land-based prototypes. Then we needed to figure out how could we test and demonstrate our technology at sea. So we went out looking for ship owners who were open-minded and innovative and interested in hosting us essentially. We're on a mission to decarbonize the shipping industry and we have to do so by respecting the existing commercial realities, the existing ships. And so we were looking for ways to retrofit ships with new technology that can reduce their emissions. What we liked about Seabound was that they offered a simple and easily understood way to capture emissions, a technology that could be fitted on an existing ship without too much complexity and the average seafarer could operate and understand it. The funding from the UK government has enabled us to catalyze and de-risk this project. We are currently testing a prototype system on board a ship, so it's not yet a commercial product. So it's a big investment for us or for our customers to make. So government support with this project has been instrumental in that it offered us a framework for managing innovation and we also got a lot more media exposure and support than we would have without it. It gave a framework for managing innovation through very good collaboration with the monitoring officer. We've been able to keep track of our development. We were especially excited when we found out that we had won funding from the Clean Maritime Demonstration Competition because carbon capture for ships is a new emerging category. It hasn't really been recognized yet at a global stage. So it was really encouraging and exciting that the government feels this is a promising category and it's worth investing in and developing further.